Sanwanani, hello everyone. Hi, hi, hi. It's lovely to have you on this episode of Reimagine Africa. Oh, it feels like it's been so long, but it's only literally just been like a week. Um, but it's lovely to have all of you. Thank you so much for joining this episode and for watching this. It's lovely to have you. Today we are talking about something really, really juicy and controversial. So I have to be super careful how I position this one. And I would love, love, love to hear your thoughts on it. If you've been in this situation, if this has ever been you, or if you've ever um, encountered someone who has been in this situation. And then also, what are some of the best ways you think to go about this one? So before we get into what we're talking about today, I did want to say a very, big, very big thank you to everyone in the community. If you're not yet part of the YouTube community, please go over there and have a look at some of the great conversations we're having. One of them was talking about the best time to have our lives. So we're going to do a live Q&A to celebrate hashtag 1000 subscribers. Yay! So to celebrate that, we're going to do a live Q&A. We're going to talk all things change, all things transition, all things leveling up and shifting, transforming. I'm going to have a Q&A on that. And it looks like it's going to be the 12th so far because those are um the votes that are coming in but if you think it should be the 11th then let me know go over to the community and let me know so um that's that now out of out of the way ah my my face is burning i think i'm smiling too much <laughs> okay anyway so let's move on today we are talking about uh, i call it first and only syndrome Now, let me explain. Have you ever encountered someone who goes, and um, I've done this, I've had this, I've been in this situation before myself, that will go, oh, I'm, I'm the first uh, African on the committee for the WNS or whatever, whatever association they're a part of, or I'm the youngest to be in what, what, what ever, and I, I'm the oldest um, member of the blah, 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 or I'm the only person of color to be in the committee, or I'm the first African to be part of this elite association or elite organization or to be on the board and those types of things. Have you ever encountered that before? So that's what I call first and only syndrome. Now, let me explain a little bit here. So that happens basically when someone is the first, when someone is the first of some sort. Um, like, like I gave the examples, if you're the first person of color to be part of your sports team, or you're the first person of color to represent your country in a particular sport at the Olympics or whatever it is, you're the first or you're the only one, the only African who's part of this club or the only African who has traveled here and here. And now, although that's okay, I mean, obviously there has to be a first and if you are the first, sometimes you are the only, and that's okay. And that really shows progress, if anything. But my thing, and, and this is where the first and only syndrome comes in. The first and only syndrome is when you take that, being the first and being the only, and you take it and you wear it on your head so much that it becomes so ego driven that you almost close the opportunity or you don't take advantage of the privilege or the opportunity that you have to bring other people into that space who look like you, who come from where you come from. It's getting real. Let's have a conversation about first and only syndrome. Welcome to Reimagine Africa. Today's video was brought to you by a friend of Tuna Cheki. Are you an African YouTuber who's passionate about African issues and want to join our Friends of Tuna Cheki community? Send us an email at tunacheki at gmail.com and we might just feature your video. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our African videos. Remember to also leave suggestions of topics that you'd like us to cover in the comments below.